Hello everybody, Bill Harrison here with Heart and Power Systems. Wanted to take a few minutes and introduce you to uh, to another new product we've got. Um, uh, it is uh, a new version of our Bat Pack. Now some of you may already be familiar with this, which is a, uh, a Bat Pack that's sized around an RBC4 battery. Um, and the RBC4 is either uh, 12 amp hours or 15 amp hours, depending on which you buy. Uh, they're physically the same size, it's just slightly more expense, slightly more weight, and in the same package you can get more amp hours. In any event, this is our, our original bat pack. Um, and uh, you're either familiar with it or you're not, but uh, in any event, this really just simplifies and, uh, and, and problem solves for a basic battery connection. Um, you can see that it adds very little to the height of a battery and it adds zero to the length or width. Um, once it's connected though you've got uh, nice clean secure Anderson connections. One of them is fused, one of them is not and you can see the the plate here it says fused or unfused. Um, and you've got uh, a uh, an inline blade type fuse. We include a 5 amp fuse. Obviously you could change that for your own needs if you needed to. You've also got a, a switch that's embedded. It's protected and uh, that switch activates the voltmeter um, which is great. Obviously at that point you know before you uh, go out the door if you've got a, a, a good charge on your battery. Um, you have some sort of idea of how well the battery is uh, is taking a charge or how quickly it's losing energy if it's running equipment it's not quite as nice as an ammeter, of course, but uh, at least it's better than being completely blind. So anyway, this is our original bat pack. What I want to show you today was its little brother. Um, this is the, the same unit, um, and by same I mean the only difference is size. Same components, same specs, uh, same price. Um, it uh, it is simply sized to fit onto a a much smaller battery. Uh, it's also got the fuse. Um, it's got one Anderson that is fused, one is not. Um, same switch, obviously. And in both cases, you've got these Velcro straps, which do a pretty good job of hugging that battery. Um, they're a bit grippier than you might imagine. But I'll go ahead and pop this off. And you can see on the back side, it's really quite simple the way everything is wired. There's quite a bit going on inside here that you can't see without ripping one of these plates off, but uh, but it doesn't matter. Everything is uh, everything is, is, is joined together in this area here. Um, and uh, you can see it's extremely simple. Something like this really uh, can take some of the risk out of carrying batteries, especially in bags or in boxes where they're loose. Um, there's some neat stuff you can do. You know, you, you could take two of these bat packs connected to batteries, of course, and rotate one 180 degrees and then use the unfused Andersons and parallel those batteries. Um, it also really invites the use of some accessories. Um, this is one that we have available on the site. Very simple. It's just Andersons with some 14 gauge going to a, a nice uh, marine grade uh, cigarette socket. Um, another example of a device that uh, complements the bat pack is our power puck, which is just an unfused distribution puck. Uh, you rotate it, open up the connections, plug one of these into your power, and then of course the remaining four are available for you to, to split that power off to other devices. Um, um, a uh, Another uh, ex accessory that's handy is a uh, an Anderson to uh, J plug. Some folks call it an SAE, um, but that would allow you to plug the bat pack directly into like the the most common uh, chargers. Something you might buy at, at Walmart or at the auto parts store. It's the it's the the little flat bladed uh, J plug. Um, but in any event, that is our uh, our new version of the uh, of the bat pack, and I can tell you we got a lesson recently at the Huntsville Ham Fest when we uh, we thought we had brought plenty of these um, to the show, and uh, 
and it was the the first public offering so truthfully didn't we didn't know quite what to expect but what happened was we sold everything we we brought and uh, and that happened uh, halfway through the first day of the show so I think what you guys are showing us is that this may be the more popular of the two sizes um, and again this bat pack works with this size battery typically available either in a 7 or a 9 amp hour so in any case you can go to our website get more information on the product visit us on Facebook see us on YouTube uh, it's portable universal power .com. my name is Bill Harrison I really appreciate your time folks and all your support over the last few years it's been a it's been a crazy ride but it's been a lot of fun and we're gonna keep pushing so thanks again and we'll talk to you later bye